are going to talk about uh, AMC and how they're um, uh, restructuring shit. Uh, so uh, it was uh, it was announced, um, and, and I'll uh, read from this article from Deadline. Uh, AMC Entertainment on Friday. Uh, and I think this was actually like a couple of weeks ago or a week or two ago. Yeah, this um, article actually came out on July 10th. 10th, yeah. Uh, AMC Entertainment uh, on Friday announced um, uh, announced the sweeping restructuring that uh, will bring $300 million, uh, in fresh new coin, uh, reduced debt uh, by as much as uh, six, uh, $630 million, and uh, lower cash interest expense by up to $200 million. The debt restructuring... Uh, arrangement or agreement uh, anticipated by deadline on Thursday will keep the chain running through spring, even in a worst case scenario uh, of all theaters being shuttered. A person uh, familiar with this uh, situation said, although the company is currently planning to reopen uh, them on July 30th. Uh, so it's not happening. Like <laughs> July 30th is in 10 days. Yeah. And a lot of companies like I, we just talked about this, like LA, for example, um, I, city or county is they're seriously considering going back into a stay-at-home order right um it's 10 days away and the biggest movies are still are continuing to be delayed why the fuck are you going to rush to open the movie theaters if like again tenet is not even going to be in movie theaters yeah um there's absolutely no reason to to reopen theaters if if they don't have any new material to, yeah. to go with right which is why they're adding in the caveat oh we'll be good until next spring no, they fucking won't be good until next spring. Are you insane? Like that's I don't care what math you're doing. There, there's nothing about that that makes any sort of fucking sense. Like, yeah. and, I, and I, I will admit to you, like going through this math, I was trying to make heads or tails of it, and I was like, uh, I don't know. I guess this makes sense. I, they're telling me it makes sense, but I don't know, dude. Like, and 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 here's here's the thing about it is is that uh, they can say oh like we're good amc is going to be you know funded until or at least we're, we're thinking we're good on cash until spring 2021 okay great the problem with that is that the studios definitely can't afford to wait till 2021 to premiere these fucking movies yeah we tenant uh, Fast and Furious, Wonder Woman, uh, Wonder Woman, uh, Black Widow, uh, No Time Mulan, to No Is it No, no Time, Time to, to Die? die. Yep. Yeah, uh, the new Bond film. Um, all these big tentpole films that were supposed to be premiering this year, they're supposed to be premiering uh, in in the spring of this year. Yeah, yeah. Don't forget you know? the movie with Russell Crowe. <laughs> we probably I actually forgot to go look that up to see if that actually did come out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, but. Um, the theaters, uh, the theaters might be able to wait, right? And I'm saying that with a huge fucking grain of salt. I don't think that they can they can wait that long. Yeah. But the studios definitely can't. And once they cross that bridge of mm -hmm. putting shit out on VOD, the, this to me seems night, like Irene. you know. And again, I get what AMC is doing here, right? Like they're trying Projecting to confidence. Yeah, yeah, you project confidence. You plan for the best. You prepare for the worst. So I feel like these numbers, like while we're seeing like a lot of like really good things, they talk about bringing three hundred million in fresh coins, um, restructuring six hundred uh, six hundred thirty million dollars in debt, and like lowering the cash interest uh, by two hundred mm -hmm. two hundred million. I feel like there is a second plan behind this plan of like all right, how do we like when, when we know that like hey we tried that thing and it's failed how do we close up shop in the cleanest fastest way and execute it to save the most money yeah. uh, but this does just feel like a plan to you know it's kind of like well i hope we don't die um <laughs> Which, uh, you know, again, you kind of, you ha you owe it to the business and, and to the employees to try, right? 100%. But yeah. it does still feel like money is just going to be burnt and waste here. Yeah. Uh, here's what I think are, is kind of like the, the most likely scenario. I think the most likely scenario is that AMC and all these other sort of like movie theater chains, they're going to be bought up by somebody. Mm -hmm. And I think that... It's bought in a word. Bought in? It is now. <laughs> I used it with confidence. So, you know, you did, you did. You did. Yeah, yeah. You, 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 you didn't stutter for a second. I just had to Not I had all. to catch it. Not at all. Um uh, uh they they're going to be bought up uh by <laughs> <laughs> Sounds worse the second time. <laughs> they're going to be bought up by somebody, right? Um now, where that cuz you know, they do have these laws in place that uh the studios can't actually own uh the theaters. 
But I think that you're going to see that guard change. Like, for instance, there were rumors not too long ago that uh, AMC was uh, that or that Amazon was looking to buy uh, AMC, um, which has been a nice come up for um, uh, for uh, Amazon. Right. That if we're going to make all these movies, we're going to make all this content. Well, now now we got all these fucking theaters that we could just premiere them. in, And we don't have no we have no obligation to fucking, you know, show other people's movies, although they definitely might want to since, you know, they're going to need to sell tickets and shit in order to keep you know the lights on. But um, but I think that you're going to find a situation like that where these theaters are going to be bought and probably scaled down mm -hmm. from what they are now. Um, by s something related to the studios. I don't know if it's going to be the studios directly or if it's going to be like some fucking like subsidiary from the theater, uh, from the studios. Somehow, some way, the studios are going to be involved in keeping because they have a vested interest in keeping the doors open for the theaters. Uh, because uh, and here's here's what my thing is, and 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 I'll go off on a fucking tangent here. Is you know everybody's like, oh man, you know it's crazy what's going on with. AMC and all this stuff. I've been saying since the very beginning of this that it's kind of their fault, right? And I'm not trying to blame the victim here, but at the same time, AMC, even before this, put themselves into debt because they, they you know, massive debt uh, because they basically were like, you know, uh, investing in sprucing up their theaters. Yeah. Uh, they were investing in doing like things like A-list, you know, where, you know, they uh, essentially, you know, you, you get to buy a membership and, and then you get to see certain you know, amount of films per month, yada, yada, all great things. But none of the things that were ever going to prevent what we're seeing happen, happen, right? Yeah. That this was always going to happen. It's just COVID put that trajectory on like fucking, on, on fucking Coke, you know, like it, it just sped everything up, you know? Um, and, and that, uh, now we're we're looking to just kind of looking at a streaming world but that world was always going to happen no matter what because yeah. it's how are you going to compete with you know i don't get, care how fucking cushy you make your fucking seats or you know what kind of beverages you bring out to me nothing's going to be me sitting on my couch scratching my balls watching yeah. a movie like you know in terms of like just a, your random movie I, sure i would love to go to a theater to see like end game or like just a big action movie which is and now it's so funny hearing people like repeat that same thing even though i've been saying that for like years it's like that's the only attraction to go to movie theaters I yeah that's a, go, i really only go for those big movies too i don't want to go see fatal affair at the fucking theater like no. what am i doing like <laughs> what, am, what am i doing with my life you know so instead of taking the time to actually look at a model that can actually work mm -hmm. for them in that case of, of how they can transition to some sort of streaming slash theater world. Yeah. They just resisted it a hundred percent. Yeah. It's just like, all right, well now we're in the world where now we're basically being forced into that and look what the fuck happened. So yeah, yeah. they, they kind of did what Yahoo did a, a long time ago. Right. There was a point in time in which Yahoo was worth like over a billion dollars. Um, and then I think it was Google who tried to acquire Yahoo and yahoo you know they were like oh we're gonna hold we're gonna hold here we're gonna hold our ground and we're gonna like you know defend our brand and we're gonna try and grow ourselves despite all of like the analysts and the industry telling us that like hey there's like google thing and you know it's really blowing up you guys might want to you guys might want to merge or let them acquire Figure you out, yeah. and then a couple years later uh, yahoo goes from being worth like a billion to being worth like 150 million dollars right and i think when they sold they sold for like 150 million if you were a shareholder you were pissed like we could have sold for a billion but now but you waited and now we sold four years later for 150 million um i think i respect amc for like trying to hold their ground but they should have you know we, you hold your ground when like the business is changing and like you feel like you could like weather that storm and, and like adapt and but still not sell to your competitor. You don't try and hold your ground when something is unforeseeable as COVID-19, that something you could not have even remotely thought of planning for impacts your business so much. At that point, you have to like, all right, how do we quickly renovate or not renovate, but like um, uh, what is it called? Uh, like innovate as fast as possible, as cheap as possible to save ourselves. And they didn't do that. But I will say this. I know you mentioned Amazon buying up AMC. You know who I actually think does it? Mm. Jeff Bezos' ex-wife, Mackenzie Bezos. <laughs> if she came in with the sneak purchase 
<laughs> right? And she, then she, she definitely should. And yeah. then she was like, "We're not going to be showing any uh, Amazon films unless you come with that extra bag, Jeff." Yeah. Or she sells it back to him. Hey, I know you want this thing. <laughs> I'm using the money I got in our divorce, and I bought the thing, and I'll sell it to you. Or they they just show like. Uh, all the hit pieces on Jeff Bezos. They just show like, mm. Jeff Bezos documentaries. The, the, the like, big the one, Jeff yeah, <laughs> with the with the Gail King interview <laughs> <laughs> in theaters. That would be crazy. <laughs> yeah, um, but yeah. Anyways, and and I'm not trying to like. Oh, I, I feel bad for all those people who have lost their jobs with AMC uh, or or just any movie theater chain for for you know for that matter. Um, and, and I feel bad that look, because I love going to the to the to the movie theater. So I don't, it's not like I like take pleasure in that or anything like that. It's just it, it's like you 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 sort of hit the nail on the head when you were saying that like you know you you gotta you gotta be adaptable to the to the times. But I don't think it was just at COVID. That is kind of like the point that I'm trying to say is is like it like wasn't before COVID's that. way too late. Yeah, like you should have been looking way before this because you saw what streaming's doing. Like streaming's fucking you up already. And it's like you have a technology that in in some aspects is clearly superior to streaming, right? That you've got the big screen, but when you're talking about fucking convenience and that's what the world is just shaping up to be, is just a world of convenience. You know, how yeah. can you make things easier for people? You found like no need to try to make things more yeah. convenient for people and try to find a way, how can we still adapt to the, the changing of the guard between going to theaters or making the theaters the main thing and streaming like you didn't you didn't try to bridge that gap you just try to like stay away from you know or, or hold that off as, as long as possible but it's just like you know things evolve you know? yeah things fucking you know change and if you don't adapt with it then this is what they should have they should have started to change before covid even yeah. happened and then when covid happened that that should have they like would have been well accelerate that yeah. even even if they weren't they didn't change then when covid happened when it started that should have accelerated any plans of like rapid chains that they had in and their it, it revealed that in they their had future no model like, yeah but yeah. instead they just continue to hold out so yeah all right so sorry amc yeah um yeah good luck. hopefully better days ahead for uh for you guys but uh yeah oh well uh i feel so bad that i just dismiss it as like oh well um <laughs> but in any case